This video will look at the ramp design module. As with the stair design module, click the function button at the bottom of the screen to open up the design form. This form has six steps to complete. In step one, you're required to select the type of ramp you want to draw. Choose from a single ramp or one of the three types of double ramps. In this diagram, we'll select the parallel double ramp. Click next to continue. In step two, we'll determine the perspective of the ramp. In this case, keep it as a left perspective. Step three requires you to enter the values for each of your ramps. The first ramp section will have a width of 1000 millimeters, a length of 3000, and a height of 215. This will give the ramp a gradient of one in 14. Click next to continue. Now we have to enter the length and height of the second ramp section. In this case, we'll keep it the same as the first ramp. Click next to continue. In step four, we're required to determine the values for each of the landings. This ramp will have a bottom, top and middle landing. By default, the bottom landing has a width and height the same as the width of the ramp. We will use these default values for this diagram. This is also true for the top landing, except in this case, we are going to offset the far value by 400 millimeters. You'll notice that the landing width automatically changes to include this offset value. We now have to enter the values of the middle landing. For this diagram, we want to have each side offset by 300 millimeters and extend the length to 1200. When drawing a double ramp, Step 5 is disabled. The Rail Features step is only available for the single ramp option and has the same features as drawing rails in the stair design form. To finish the diagram, we need to choose whether to display the diagram in top view, 3D view, or both. In this case, we'll draw both diagrams. Click Draw Ramp to finish. Two tabs have been created one with a 3D view of our ramp and the other with a top view of the ramp. From here, you can add any additional rails, dimensions or labels to customize your ramp diagram. For example, we can insert a freestanding rail on the near side of the bottom ramp section. You now have two professional diagrams drawn in just a matter of minutes.